Ursula! Fuck me! <laughs> Fuck me. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So before we start today's video, I just want to say something real quick. We're in the current stage of developing t-shirts for you guys, and I'd like to get a rough estimate for how many people would actually purchase them. If you think that you would buy a Rex H t-shirt, which will look like this, not going to show too much there, give the video a like. I don't think I've ever asked for likes, but give the video a like if you do want to purchase a Rex H t-shirt. Anyway, I want to show you guys around this garage. We've cleaned it up quite well. I've got a whole new, all this area now, all my MR2 stuff over there. The cupboard is now all organized. Give it a sus. Check that out. Even got like labels and stuff. Electric tools, BMW tools. I think Andrew and Nathan are gonna be picking me up soon. We're gonna go for a little drive and have a good fun time. <laughs> So we're starting the video out in Andrew's R32 today. What is it, the VR6? Ain't that right? We're just gonna do some, I oh know. Highway pulls. Highway pulls, no, we're not gonna <laughs> do that. I'm just gonna, Woof! Fuck, it just keeps pulling. Yeah, we're just gonna go grab some food first and then, I don't know, work in the MR2, do some random shit like always. I don't know, come along for the journey. Southland Tunnel pull. <laughs> Holy shit. Since I drove it, it's got some new wheels. I don't know. What else have you done to it since I drove it? That's about it, yeah? Just new wheels and tires? Tires and take the exhaust tube. Oh, quite a oh, bit. And the, and, the, and the sticker. Oh, and the sticker. <laughs> and the, um, go, go APR and the stage crooked badge. Stage, stage on point. Look, I reckon it's a quick car, but it's nothing like too surprising, yeah? No. It's surprising, but I've driven a lot of like quick cars now. Yeah, so like, it's like, like twice as, like, the thing is, is that yeah. it's very undramatic, but this is like twice as fast as the MR2. Yeah, probably. But it's it, so undramatic. It's exactly. It, it just, like, it's so, like, smooth, and I guess, and it doesn't, like, crazy, you know, no turbo, just... Oh, nice. Turbo. turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a good oh, something we've got to tell you guys is that Andrew's BRZ is actually out of commission. Do you want to tell us why, Andrew? What happened to it? Left hand rear axle is just sort of floating around. Oh no! Oh, An axle? You can demonstrate. Can you wiggle it? Can you get under there? Yeah, I can literally. I can just grab it. If I can move it around. <laughs> Fuck! It's like jammed. First gear. First gear. Yep. Clutch out. Yep. That's like jammed. Maybe you could just send me that video. So his axle's just, what, broken at the, the joint, yeah? Yeah, the it is. So you just, he's just going to get it reconditioned and then get uh, turbo axles down the line because obviously he's going to turbo the car. But poor thing, she'll be back soon. No, she won't. She will. She's been dead for like four days now. Oh. Oh my god, get some road speed. So just go straight for a bit so it builds speed and then do the handbrake. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You have to go straight, Rex. Yeah, just straight, drive right. straight. Yeah. Turn the wheel, yeah. then yank it. Yeah. 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 See? <laughs> I'm gonna like DB the top. Because my, my, I've got really small sidewalls. Yeah, but just. I've never, I never DB it on my car when I came over here. What are you doing? Go, 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 drive straight. Keep driving straight. Keep going. Um, why, why don't you listen to us? I don't want to. I don't want to go too hard on it. You're not going to go too hard. You're this probably just ruining it. Yeah. Like you're pulling it for no reason. Exactly. So get some speed up. Now turn and rip the handbrake. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> See. <laughs> The, wheel, the rear wheel's just locked up. Just, you need well, to go my faster. My handbrake is not powerful enough. No, but you need to get me moving faster. You need to actually get the back end moving. There you go. <laughs> there you go. See? It's fun, yes, and it's good. <laughs> just you need to get moving faster. Right. You're going too slow. You're going to get 40,000 views. Oh, he's, he's going speed. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your car key. What the fuck? Oh, I got them. Oh, <laughs> that was fun. Oh my god. Alright, well, this is the aftermath. <laughs> fuck. 
Look at that. Holy shit. Oh, definitely worth it though. Nice. I had a lot of fun drifting the Camry. I didn't expect it to actually kick out that much. I wasn't really doing it right, as Andrew and Nathan were saying. I would need it to like go up and have a little bit more speed and then yank the handbrake, but I was just a little bit scared that I was gonna break something on the Camry. That's why I didn't go too hard. So I thought I couldn't end the video there. May as well just do some work on the MR2. We're gonna try fix up the fog lights because as you all know, the fog lights are kind of messed up for me taking them out. I'm going to try use this epoxy that Andrew bought and just left here. So I'm just going to use it because he's never going to take it back. On the fog light bits. So where I try to pull the fog lights out are these two like screw holes. And they hold the fog light into the where the, they should be. And as I ripped it out, as I tried to yank on it because of that strip bolt, I could not get rid of that. Um, it broke the fog lights. So we have to try to stick those back on. So we're just going to use this epoxy, but firstly we're going to get some isopropyl alcohol and clean down these plastic bits. Alright, so we have the isopropyl alcohol, epoxy, fog light, and these bits that fell off uh, the fog light. So this is what I'm talking about. You see this is the fog light right here, and the bits that broke off, these mounting points for these screws, these plastic bits, which is supposed to be right there, just came off, just broke off, because I guess, you know, 20 years of sitting right in front of the car, getting all the water splashed up on these plastic bits isn't too good. So it's, it's to be expected. First, we're gonna clean them down with some isopropyl alcohol and epoxy them up. So within the next three or four minutes, this epoxy will harden. I think it's already hardening. If we move this now, you can see that it's, yeah, it's hardening. And look at this. This has worked perfectly. I don't know why I haven't even thought about that. Look at that. You see that everything's lined up and it's pretty much already solid. <laughs> Check that out. Nice. I'm just gonna obviously wait a good amount of time before these to let this set. Probably like 24 hours or something like that. That should go in pretty easily. All we need to do now is wait for the bulbs to come in. I think the bulbs are still around a couple days away from coming in, then we can actually probably test fit these fog lights and hope that everything works. Pretty good job considering that these fog lights were just cracked there, but I think I could probably like lift that up now. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> the other fog light actually didn't break at all. It was actually already um, broken when I removed it. So you can see that there's only one tab in this fog light there. What I'm thinking of doing is just getting like a plastic thing, sticking that on and like lighting up with the hole and then just drilling through. Might be able to get that done. Also, and a very annoying thing, we have to wait another three to four weeks to get the side skirts for the MR2. It's been currently 12 weeks, so we're gonna be waiting a total of 16 or so weeks or 15 weeks and it's just it's just getting ridiculous. I'm still waiting for them to get back to me on an estimated time of arrival. The guy said three to four weeks when I called him yesterday. It's just really disappointing considering I bought these side skirts like three months ago. I just want to get it all in the car and paint it. It's just taking forever. Of course, everything's going to be a slow process with this car. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I reckon we'll definitely take the Camry back down to the grass patch because that was super fun on a side note. Anyway, I think that's enough of me talking. Hope you enjoyed the Camry skidding around and me fixing up the fog light. T-shirts coming your way. Give it a like. Catch you guys in the next one.